一百九十六，中国日报香港版。Chinese men are just like cattle。二零一五年七月二十七日 ，Blue Sinus P 十七 P 一百 Lifestyle Wang Ming Ji by Wang Ming Ji Wang Ming Ji a male China Day Lighter come what makes Chinese men take that question has received attention not only from scholars but from advertising and media professionals too。Because anyone who can answer it will have a gold mine of marketing data on their hands. Masculinity studies have developed greatly over the past some sub years, fueled initially by the feminist movement of the 1960s and 1970s that propelled gender onto media and scholarly agendas, said Derek Hood, a senior lecturer in Chinese studies at the University of Westminster in London. The field has expanded to include numerous perspectives from scholars from many different backgrounds, looking at masculinity everywhere since Anglophone sociologists formulated theories on the matter in the 1980s. He said, in the 1980s and 1980s, Chinese scholars based in Western universities began to write about masculinity in Chinese film and historical and contemporary Chinese fiction. Heard it. In the past five or so years, more studies of Chinese masculinity have appeared from a variety of scholars based in and outside China. This has helped continue the trend of investigating the lives of different kinds of Chinese men. Felicia Schwartz, founder and director of China Insight, a consultancy, said. Businesses that do not study the Chinese men may want to implement a Western strategy based on the wants of Western men, or may just make assumptions about Chinese men. In a fast-moving market such as China, it's important to keep a finger on the pulse of what motivates and appeals to one's target consumer. Advertising and media businesses are among the most keen to learn about the Chinese male market and its tastes. Hurt pointed out. Businesses often look for a magic bullet that can help them crack the market, such as a straightforward key to understanding Chinese men. He added, "But masculinities are multiple and diverse, so the reality is more complex. The value of our research is that it encourages businesses to appreciate this diversity and complexity, and to recognize the particular historical circumstances that have shaped and continue to shape." Chinese masculinities in dynamic ways. It helps them realize that Chinese masculinities cannot be taken as interchangeable with masculinities in Western countries or reduced to simplistic stereotypes. Hurt said. Schwartz said Chinese masculinity is not only different from its Western counterpart, but is also evolving rapidly, splitting into myriad subdemographic groups. The speed of China's development means that there is a much more accentuated difference between men of varying ages, whereas a five-year difference, for example, is not considered as crucial in the West. Schwartz said, "China is huge and diverse geographically." Schwartz said, it, "But when targeting the Chinese man, one has to be clear whether one is targeting the urban male in the first." Tier city, or perhaps a wider target that might include lower development tiers and even rural areas. There have been huge shifts in Chinese masculinity in recent decades. After reform and opening up the country, the working landscape quickly started diversifying, and new aspirational models such as the white collar worker or company man appeared. Schwartz said, initially, the Western aspirational model, including the American dream. Was pervasive, she said, but a wider range of models have appeared in China in recent years. Examples include the comeback of the Gen Z, all Chinese Confucian gentlemen, all the appearance of the Xiaoshi and Rao, literally little fresh meat, a youth model that Schwartz believes is influenced by the pop culture of Hong Kong and Taiwan. Sharon Chen, a strategist with the advertising company Leo Pan at China, said. We always begin our projects by exploring the needs of people through market research. Once we identify the insight, we compare it against the benefits that the product can offer to nail down what is really relevant for consumers. The company has been involved in numerous brand campaigns that target Chinese men, including the one for the book Excelka. 
their target audience as males between the age of Yisab and Seisab, Chen said. The insight we found about this group of males is that they are a generation of new, cattle, Arli, love, and chung, dashing, new raffles tall catching up with others when everything happens so quickly at this point of time in history. They need to work like cattle to make it, Chen added, they demonstrate that they have a strong mission to protect their families, and families come first for them. Chinese males are becoming more aware of their role in the family, not just as breadwinners, but also loving husbands and fathers. Chung shows that working hard is not good enough, Chen said. They will have to work with explosive momentum to keep up with the pace of a fast-moving economy. That the perception of Chinese masculinity has recently been reflected in men and masculinities in contemporary China, a book by Hurt and Sung Gang. Associate Professor at the University of Hong Kong. In the book, Sung and her offer an account of Chinese masculinity in media coverage and everyday life. This covered masculinity on television, in lifestyle magazines, and at work and at home. Masculinity has become diversified in today's China. It has become a mixture of traditional Chinese discourses fused with an influence of Western types of masculinity such as the business men and the metrosexual type, Sung said, to build a connection between their research on gender in China, and the media and advertising industries in the West, Sung and Hurt hosted the workshop at the University of Westminster in London in May and titled, Understanding Chinese Men and Masculinity, Sung said the new trends and images in China that they talked about at the workshop may be useful for European businesses that want to explore the market of male customers here. Men, especially Chinese men, have been largely ignored as gendered beings in the past, and this awareness of their gender will help promote products targeting the male market. Sung added, masculinities are multiple and diverse, so the reality is more complex. Felicia Schwartz, founder and director of China Insight Masculinity has become diversified in today's China. Sung Gang, tall writer of men and masculinities in contemporary China.